The story of uh, Paranormal Asylum is actually inspired by two events. The most prominent is the story of Typhoid Mary. It's actually a very interesting story. Typhoid Mary was actually uh, Mary Mallon, and in 1883 came to New York, to the United States. She became a cook. Right around 19, I guess 1906, there was an epidemic of the typhoid virus in, around America, but especially in New York City. And what happened is the, a number of people that were going to where she was at, got sick with typhoid fever. My uh, father was the first one to find Mary. She was living alone with a handicapped kid. Family knew Mary had typhoid. They hired her to stay with the little cripple, take good care of him. She's been attributed to infecting over 50 people, 51 I think was the actual count, three deaths. And it's horrible suffering by the way. A bullet in the head, you're dead in three seconds. You get the, something like the typhoid, right? you're, you're suffering for days. She right. tortured a lot of people. They suspected her of having typhoid, but they still hired her? They hoped she would infect the kid. They hoped you would die. The government said it, for the good of people, she could be taken out and, and essentially hospitalized and put into quarantine against her will. She wrote, I have never had typhoid in my life, and I have always been healthy. Why should I be banished like a leper? It is unjust, outrageous, uncivilized. It seems incredible that in a Christian community, a defenseless woman could be treated in this manner. It must have been one of the scariest things to confront of like, I can't have a normal life. You know, as a person, like, I can't have a normal life because I'm carrying something that is literally killing people around. Me.